everyone. In this video, I'm going to take you through my movie collection. This will be a look at my entire shelf, all my physical disc, and I'll give you my brief thoughts about these movies and shows, including my likes and dislikes, my favorites, and my must-haves. And the shelf is in alphabetical order for the most part. I have it divided so that my steel books are on top with my larger box sets. Then there are all my 4K Blu-rays followed by my standard Blu-rays and 3D movies. So starting at the top, and this section is actually not in alphabetical order, we start with Jaws. I have it positioned on the shelf in this way because I love the cover art. It's my favorite looking Blu-ray cover. The movie itself is a classic and a great home theater watch. Bullet Train, I saw this on a streaming service. I really liked it. It's a really good home theater experience. So I waited until it was on sale and sure enough, there was a flash sale for this still book and I picked it up. Got The Running Man a few months ago. It's unopened. Haven't seen it yet, but looking forward to it. Cloverfield, I recently watched Cloverfield. It's actually, it's actually as good as I remember it. Uh, it's good, not great, as you might imagine, lots of good LFE. It's a pretty good buy. Top Gun Maverick, I'm, I'm very careful when I say something is a must have. That's really reserved for the very best of the very best. Top Gun Maverick is an absolute must have have. It's on my top 10 home theater list. Check that video out if you will. This is just, it's a masterpiece of a movie. Starship Troopers is a great movie. I loved my home theater experience with this movie. And the steelbook art is my second favorite behind Jaws. Groundhog Day may be my favorite movie of all time. It's one of those movies that for me, it just flips all those little switches. There's nothing in this movie that I didn't like. Every single scene is gold, and I can watch this movie over and over. Heat is one of my favorite movies of all time. Top 10 for sure, maybe top 5, but this 4K release is a rough one. It's not good at all. The audio is okay, but the video quality is severely lacking. House of the Dragon. Again, I'm careful when I say something is a must-have or a masterpiece. I don't just throw those words around. House of the Dragon is an absolute masterpiece. One of my favorite shows of all time. I haven't seen this 4K release. We saw it multiple times on HBO Max. Now it's just Max, but this is a great show. Downton Abbey, I like this show, so I got the movie. Air Force One, I did a movie review of this one, so if you're interested, please take a look at that. It's posted, uh, but this is a home, a good home theater watch. Halo, still making my way through this one, if I'm being honest. I'm struggling just a little bit to get through it, but it sounds and looks very good. RoboCop is a classic. I first saw this when I was a kid and far, far too young to have seen it at that time but um i i was all over this release love the packaging tons of extras i love the extras love the movie this is a loaded release game of thrones maybe my favorite show of all time saw it on hbo haven't seen this 4k release yet but when i do my wife and i we're just gonna camp out in here and just binge it Battlestar galactica this was a gift for my family another one of my favorite shows of all time for me, there were just there were some highs, there were some lows, but I love the show. I binged this show maybe three or four times already. Haven't seen this Blu-ray set yet, but I definitely will. All right, next shelf, 1917. Very well made movie. Love the second person perspective and the long extended scenes. Really good movie and the audio and video quality is really good. 2001 a space odyssey i have never seen this movie but i heard good things about it got it on sale at a really crazy low price so i wanted to give this a try 2012 this is a really fun movie and one of my favorites it's silly and absurd but it's just fun a quiet place one and two so i i view these as one movie because a quiet place two picks up right where the first movie left off same characters, same feel, same look, same tone. A Quiet Place is one of my favorite home theater movies. It's on my favorite home. It's on my uh, top ten home theater movie list. Uh, both are excellent movies across the board. 
Ad Astra did not see this one coming. Ad Astra made it onto my top 10 home theater movies list. Likely not going to be everyone's favorite, but I really liked it. And those rocket launches are reference quality, demo worthy scenes. Elephie is low, it's deep, and it will shake your entire room. Alita Battle Angel. This release is actually pretty loaded. It is, it's got a digital copy. It's got a 3D disc. It has the standard Blu-ray. It has the 4K Blu-ray. It's got extras. It's got everything. Uh, the movie leans more YA than I thought, but I still like the movie, and the audio and video quality is very good. It is definitely a good home theater movie. Arrival, this is a sneaky good home theater movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's shot beautifully, such an emotional story here, and the audio and video quality is absolutely fantastic. Avatar, I recently did a home theater review of this movie. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is Avatar The Way of Water. Blade, I was all over this when it released on 4K Blu-ray. The audio and video for this movie is very good. The movie itself, watching it again le years later as an adult, it's not as good as I remember. Definitely loved it when I was younger, but I don't quite feel the same way about it as an adult. It's not a bad movie, just not as good as I remember. It does present very well from a home theater perspective. Blade Runner, another classic. Audio is a standout in this movie. I really like this watch in my home theater. Blade Runner 2049, one of my favorite home theater movies. And an all-around excellent movie across every category. And again, it's on my top 10 home theater movies list. Brotherhood of the Wolf. I did a review of this movie, so check that out if you have a moment. But this is a good one. Chernobyl. I saw this on HBO Max. Again, it's Max now. But I loved it. One of the best miniseries of all time. So I bought the 4K Blu-ray. The Core. Fun movie. I did a home theater review on this one. So check that one out if you will. Crawl. Not a good movie. Pretty boring. But the audio and video I thought were very good. Crazy Rich Asians, I have not seen the 4K yet, but I did see it streaming. It is extremely funny. It's a very sweet movie. The Da Vinci Code, one of my favorite movies, but the video quality of the 4K Blu-ray is not good. Maybe the worst 4K I have in my collection. Inferno, Inferno was an okay watch, much better video quality than the Da Vinci Code. Deep Impact, big fan of this movie. This is another movie that I uh, posted a review of. Good, not great audio and video, but I still enjoyed the movie a lot as a home theater watch. Dirty Dancing, got this one for my wife. It's one of her favorites. Downton Abbey, another Downton Abbey movie. Actually haven't seen this one yet. Dune, outstanding movie. Definitely home theater worthy. Audio is top notch. Video is excellent. Edge of Tomorrow, I did a review of this movie on 4K Blu-ray, and this is a must-have. One of my favorite movies across the board. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, such a good movie story-wise. I highly recommend it. The acting and casting was perfect, and it's just a great movie. Free Guy, really fun movie. A good one for the home theater. Lots of humor and lots of action. Gemini Man. I thought this would be better than it was, saw it on sale, so I went for it, but uh, not as good as I hoped. Ghostbusters Afterlife, I have this one on my shelf, it's been here for a while, still unopened, still unwatched, but I'll have to find some time to watch it. Godzilla King of Monsters, for me, this is my favorite home theater movie, it is the best home theater movie, That just in my opinion, so just get it. Grab some snacks, turn up the volume, sit back, and enjoy this movie. It is a must-have. While I don't necessarily like this movie itself, Godzilla vs. Kong, I do think the audio and video quality is among the best I've experienced in my home theater. Um, another that I think is a must-have, if nothing else, just to show off the capability of your home theater. Reference level audio, outstanding visuals. Kong Skull Island, really good home theater watch. That helicopter scene with Kong at the very beginning of the movie is one of my favorite home theater scenes. 
Kubo and the Two Strings. Haven't seen this one yet in my home theater. I streamed it a while ago and I liked it, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. Inception, I got this one for my wife. She really enjoys this movie, but we have not seen it yet in our home theater. Interstellar, huge fan of this movie. Very good home theater watch, just not a big fan of the end of the movie. Independence Day, I bought this a while ago, but I still haven't seen it. Not really super excited to watch it. Um, it was on sale at the time, super inexpensive, so I just went for it. I did watch this a lot when I was younger. I'll have to get to it, but it's really not at the top of my list. It's a Wonderful Life. This is one for my wife. It is one of her favorite movies. John Wick movies one through three, a wild, enjoyable movie franchise. I need to pick up the fourth movie. Jumanji, such a fun movie series. Great experience with both of these movies in my home theater. Jurassic Park, another classic. First movie that I saw multiple times in the theater. Jurassic World, I am not a big fan of the Jurassic World movies. So this is a buy for my wife, which she absolutely loves. But um, yeah, not my favorite. Last Action Hero. Much better than I remembered as a kid, so I picked this one up. The Last Starfighter, I did a home theater review of this movie. My expectations were a little too high for this one, but it's still a good movie, just not as good as I had hoped for. Love and Monsters, really good movie. Definitely a home theater worthy watch, very good audio and video, really liked the characters, and I really liked the story. Just a fun watch. Mad Max, action from start to finish. It's weird, it's wild, it's fun, it's a great home theater movie. Matrix, it's a classic. I actually don't have two or three. I never really liked those movies. There are moments that I liked in those movies, but overall, I didn't really care for them. Matrix Resurrections, it was a good one-time watch, but I haven't seen it since the first watch, but it looked really good and it sounded really good. The Meg. I got this one for our family movie night, and it delivered. Really fun movie. It's silly, it's absurd, but it's very entertaining, and it's a really good home theater watch. Mission Impossible is one of my favorite movie franchises, so I have Fallout. Great home theater movie. Moonfall. I like a good disaster movie, but Moonfall is not among my favorites. I don't mind a turn-your-brain-off kind of movie. But I really just didn't like this movie. I didn't care much for the characters. I didn't care much for the plot. The audio and video were actually, if I recall correctly, we were pretty good. But I just, I really didn't like the movie. And I don't see myself seeing this again anytime soon. Monster Hunter. Audio and video quality is among the best I have seen in a movie. Reference level quality. But I just did not like the movie. It has a lot of problems story-wise. That said, I've seen this movie a lot. It's uh, my go-to whenever I want to do a demo or when I just want to sort of flex the performance muscles of my home theater. It's not a good movie, but to me, it is worth the buy just to experience the audio and video quality. Mortal Kombat. This movie is okay. Not great, but it's a good watch. The story itself could have been better, should have been better. Everything about the movie is just okay. But the actor that plays Kano absolutely steals this movie. My Best Friend's Wedding. I like this movie. I haven't seen it in a while, so I decided to get it when I saw it was on 4K Blu-ray. Haven't seen it yet, but I definitely will. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is up there as one of my favorite movies of all time. Every scene is just gold. I love this movie. And I posted a review of the 4K Blu-ray, so if you're interested, take a look at that. Nope, really liked this movie. It also presented really well in my home theater. I thought it looked and sounded fantastic. The movie itself is very good. It's funny, it's scary, it's weird, it's smart. Just a really great movie across the board. Oblivion, this was a recent buy. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I've never seen it in 4K. I saw it on sale and it was priced low enough that I got it. Overlord. I went into this movie completely blind. I didn't know anything about it, and I'm glad I did. I liked The Spin. It's a really good movie. Pacific Rim, one of my favorite movies of all time. One of my favorite home theater movies. It looks fantastic, sounds fantastic. The movie has everything. It's a must-have. Pacific Rim Uprising. 
Great audio and video quality, but not remotely close to being as good as the first movie. I felt like it tried to take all the good from the first movie and upped it several notches, but it just didn't work for me. Parasite, such a great story here. It's a dark comedy slash drama and visually super clean and sharp. Passengers, my daughter really likes this movie. I thought it was just okay. Ready Player One, the car race scene is the best home theater movie scene I have ever watched. I ranked it first on my best home theater movie scenes video. Another video that um, you can check out if you are interested. The movie is very good from an AV perspective. I actually read the book twice and I love the book, the, but the movie is very different than the book and uh, I don't think it's nearly as good. San Andreas, as I said, huge fan of disaster movies and this delivers. It's not deep, it's not even believable, but it's a good ride and it's entertaining. Serenity, this has been on my shelf for a long time and I have yet to watch it. I watched the TV series a while ago and I liked it, so I bought the movie, but I still need to see this. So uh, at some point I will. Shadow, I know very little about this movie, only that the trailer looked awesome. So this is another one that I need to watch. The Shallows is visually outstanding in terms of both video quality and the shots themselves. The 7.1 Dolby Atmos audio mix is extremely good. The movie itself is pretty good, not great, but it's a good watch. Sicario is a masterpiece of a movie. Everything about this movie is outstanding from the audio and video to acting to the story itself. So I've not seen the follow-up here, but um, I will. Smoking Aces, I remember this being very good, but I haven't seen it in years, but I plan to see the 4K at some point. Speed. Speed was a surprisingly good home theater watch. I did not expect it to look or sound as good as it did. I've always liked the movie and watching it again after so long, I actually liked it even more. But the home theater experience caught me off guard. This is a really good one. Tenet. This is one of my favorite movies and it's a great home theater watch. Another one that's on my top 10 favorite home theater movies video. It kept me thinking. I like the mystery, great casting and acting. I thought the audio and video quality was good. And I like movies that I can watch over and over and over. And this is one of those movies for me. Terminator Dark Fate, another home theater worthy movie and one I really liked. Audio and video quality is outstanding and it's a fun ride. Top Gun, classic 80s cheese here, but it has a great score and great aerial scenes. Train to Busan, if you are a zombie movie fan, this is a must have. I mentioned my thoughts about this movie in an earlier video, and this is a good one. Tremors, classic, love this movie. Saw this in my home theater and it is good. Not super spectacular from a home theater perspective, but good. Underworld, I am a fan of this franchise. I like the movies, but it's a pretty rough looking 4K. It's up there with the Da Vinci Code as far as being one of the worst looking 4Ks on my shelf. Underworld, Blood Wars, better visually, but it is a dark movie. Every single scene is dark. So if you don't have a capable display, you'll struggle to see anything in this movie. The Untouchables, saw it years ago when I was a kid. Again, probably too young to see this, but I did. But um, I have not seen the 4K yet. I am looking forward to it. V for Vendetta, I've seen this movie a lot and I really like it. This is a good one. My 4K Blu-ray Star Trek section is here. I have the first movie of the reboot on standard Blu-ray, so I'll get to that section shortly but I have Star Trek Into Darkness, which I really like in 4K Blu-ray, and Star Trek Beyond. I have Wrath of Khan and The Search for Spock. Both are okay. The dialogue and acting in the original movie series are a little rough for me, uh, but they're okay home theater watches. Uh, next here is my Star Wars 4K section. Rogue One is one of my favorite Star Wars movies of all time. The movie has everything for me personally, including an absolutely epic Vader scene, and it's a great home theater to watch. I have The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I still need to get A New Hope. I have to admit, 
These are a little dated for me, but they are classics, so I, I want them on my shelf. The Force Awakens, I really enjoyed this movie. It's one of my favorite Star Wars movies, and I will unashamedly stand by that. The end of the movie, though, it nearly ruined it for me. I didn't like the end at all, but the rest of the movie I loved completely. The Last Jedi, so many, many issues with this movie. Just uh, really disappointing. And I'll leave it at that, else I'll just start venting my frustrations with this movie. The Rise of the Skywalker is another movie that I will stand by and say that I thought the, the video and audio quality was very good. The movie still had a lot of issues story-wise, but I kind of get it. Trying to clean up what was left by The Last Jedi, trying to close out the series, trying to satisfy fans. It, it's really, it was really tough to pull off. It's not a great movie, but I thought the try was okay. There are some really good parts, and it looked good on the big screen. Next is my 4K nature documentary section, Planet Earth 2 and Blue Planet 2 Dynasties, Seven Worlds, One Planet, The Green Planet. These documentaries are just incredibly well-produced, excellent home theater watches, beautiful scenes, some of the most beautiful shots coming through in absolutely excellent video and audio quality. I do have Iron Man 1 and 2. Uh, Iron Man is my favorite Marvel character. Uh, has been since I was a kid. I refuse to acknowledge that Iron Man 3 exists, so I'll leave it at that, but to me, it does not exist. The Avengers series, I love all the movies. Infinity War is one of my favorite movies of all time, and it really was the driving force behind me building my home theater. Um, you know, I, I didn't want that experience in the commercial theater to be my last uh, in, in when seeing this movie. Um, so that, that sort of lit the fire that, um, that I needed to, to make my home theater a reality. Captain America Civil War, for me, there was a lot that I liked and a lot that I did not like at all. Uh, Marvel seems to have a habit of finding some way to power down certain characters like Iron Man to fit the story or things seem to conveniently stop or de-escalate before it gets too serious. Um, there's a lot of that in this movie. And, you know, being a comic book fan, I did read this event. Um, the movie is definitely different and far, far tamer than the comic book version. Um, but I still thought the movie was mostly good. Doctor Strange, I have not seen this movie in a long time, but I did like it. Multiverse of Madness. I really like this movie a lot. Huge fan. Black Panther. I liked it. Didn't like the CGI very much. The Incredible Hulk. Really good home theater watch here. Guardians of the Galaxy. Captain Marvel. Thor Ragnarok. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. All fun movies. Great home theater watches. Spider-Man No Way Home. Love this movie in absolutely every way. One of my favorite Marvel movies. Spider-Man Trilogy, I have not seen this yet in my home theater. Um, I want to do a marathon watch through all of these, so I need to find some time for that. But the second movie is by far my favorite of the series. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, it's a must-have. It's smart, it's emotional, beautiful, unique, fun. Every positive, glowing adjective that you can think of to describe this movie. Um, yeah, this is a great one. Venom. I did not like this movie very much, but my daughter did, so this one is for her. I did like the audio and video quality, just not the movie itself. X-Men Dark Phoenix, this movie kind of grew on me. I did not like it very much when I first saw it, but it's okay now. Not great, not good, but it's just okay. Um, in my DC collection, I have Aquaman, which is not a good movie. It's actually pretty bad. Um, it's a great audio and video experience. Um, and actually, this was the very first movie that my family watched in our home theater. Batman 1989 is not as good as I remember. It's not awful. It's just a bit dated for me. Batman Forever, I posted a movie review of that one, so check that one out if you will. Um, I love this movie. It's a great home theater watch. Uh, the Dark Knight is one of my favorite movies. The Batman... I have my doubts about this one, but this is a great one. 
excellent across the board. In my Schneider section, I have the Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, which I actually did not like in my first watch, but I feel like my home theater actually changed my mind about this one. So it's a good watch. And here is Justice League, the Schneider cut. The movie still has issues story-wise for me, but it is such a great home theater watch and a day and night difference from the original uh, Justice League. It also clocks in around four hours, so which um, I actually uh, get maybe a bit much for some people, but I like long movies as long as it's well done and not just meandering. Um, you know, I like the movie. I don't mind a four-hour movie. Black Adam, another one that I stand by. I like this movie. Doesn't sound like we'll get a second, but I would like to have seen a sequel. The Suicide Squad, absolutely hilarious. Really fun uh, movie and a good home theater to watch. Next are my box sets. Huge fan of the Predator series. All presented well in my home theater. I really need a Prey 4K Blu-ray. So hoping for that one. The Hobbit trilogy. I liked the Hobbit trilogy more than the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, I did a marathon watch through these when it first arrived. I didn't think it was the best 4K release, but I enjoyed uh, the long back-to-back -back watch uh, in my home theater. 007, I need to open this up. I have not yet seen this in my home theater. Dolby Vision, 7.1 Dolby Atmos Mix. This one should be a good one. Logan, my wife actually got this one for me um, uh, as a gift uh, way back when it first came out. So uh, it's a good home theater watch. Deadpool, I have seen both of these movies, but actually not in my home theater. So I need to watch these in here, uh, but they are entertaining. Continuing on to the bottom shelf here is Indiana Jones, classic movie franchise, generally good home theater watches. The Amazing Spider-Man, the first movie was much better than the second. The second movie tried to push the humor, and to me it just wasn't very funny. It got pretty silly, but I still liked it. Um, uh, I still liked both quite a bit, and I thought Andrew Garfield was a good Spider-Man um, nothing spectacular in terms of uh, audio and video quality, but it's a good home theater watch. Back to the Future, another classic to me. All three movies. Loved watching these in my home theater. Um, yeah, love the franchise. Uh, the rest of the bottom shelf are my standard Blu-rays and 3D movies. I have Planet Earth on standard Blu-ray. Uh, a Few Good Men, one of my favorite movies of all time. Avatar, not my favorite movie. Um, I loved The Way of Water, but just not a fan of this first movie. Um, the Dark Knight Rises, thought the movie itself was okay the first time or two that I saw it. After that, I, I really didn't find the movie very good, and for me, I, I haven't seen it in quite some time. Edge of Tomorrow, I have the 4K. Is the 4K worth the upgrade over the, blue, the standard Blu-ray? Absolutely. But the standard Blu-ray is extremely good. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I like this movie. Haven't seen it in a while, though. Gone in 60 seconds. Just cool cars, a fun chase scene, and the humor for me largely worked. And um, best of all, you get classic Nick Cage. So um, the chase scene actually sounded pretty good in my home theater. So uh, this was a good watch. Hans Zimmer, live in Prague, great experience in my home theater, very immersive. Immortals, um, I need this in 4K, need this on a 4K Blu-ray for sure. It's got some minor issues story-wise, but it's entertaining. Uh, I like how it looks stylistically, and the end of this movie is just awesome. So uh, it's a good watch, just needs a 4K release. Prometheus, I think if this wasn't supposed to be an Alien prequel, I probably would have liked this even more. I kept expecting more out of the movie, but uh, I did like the movie. Star Trek, um, I like the reboot of this franchise. Um, I thought this was a very good movie. Tron Legacy, this is another one. We, I, I really need a 4K for this movie. The standard Blu-ray actually looks and sounds pretty good. I think a well-done re-release in 4K could be all kinds of special for this movie. 
Unstoppable. This is loosely based on a true story. The real life events weren't nearly as dramatic as the movie, but the movie itself is really good. It's about an unmanned train barreling through these towns and the people trying to board and stop it. Um, it's a good movie. X-Men Days of Futures Past. I like this movie. Uh, I don't watch it very much, but uh, I thought it was one of the better X-Men movies. Uh, got the Spears and Munsells. Next are all of my 3D movies. I don't have the biggest 3D movie collection. If it wasn't nearly phased out, I'd still be collecting these. Uh, first up is the Avengers Civil War, which looks really good in 3D. I have Clash of the Titans, Dread, Gravity, the Battle of the Five Armies, Pacific Rim, which is absolutely the best 3D movie I have ever seen. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness in 3D, uh, Terminator Genesis, and Underworld Awakening. Now, Alita Battle Angel and Passengers also include a 3D copy, but they are in my 4K section, which we already saw. Got some Gundam and some Superman. Um, the Hunger Games series is for my daughter. And finally, Warehouse 13, one of my favorite shows of all time. It's funny and campy. Um, it's goofy. There's some episodes that get pretty serious and deep. And then there are some episodes that are actually pretty dark. Uh, but this is a really good show. So that's it for my shelf. And as you can see, it is full. One of my next projects is going to have to be uh, building a second shelf because I'm going to need the space. That's it. The collection's still growing. Uh, I actually have some pre-orders coming in soon, so this shelf will change again uh, pretty soon. Uh, but if you have any questions about any of the movies on my shelf, the audio, the video, the movie itself, or how it presents in the home theater, leave those in the comment section below and I'll get to those and I'll get you an answer.